I never go and go. Is that good or do we need to do that again? Rudy, one more time? Yeah, you you clap like a preschooler. You clap like a priest. Yeah. Clap cheeks like a Ex priest. You want me to reject your reply to what I'm going to say? No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new untold story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new untold story. A new untold story. It's a fresh fake untold story. Welcome back to a new untold story episode uh, four forty eight seven. What, what what is the episode episode number three forty seven three forty seven? I think this is our one hundred and forty seventh episode of a new untold story. What Pokemon is that? That's Dratini. Well, I knew that. I knew that. A lot of people think Dratini Dragonair. And then Dragonite doesn't really fit into the evolutionary line. It's big and orange. And a lot of people think that the final evolution should have been Gyarados. And they switched it up on accident. Or there was some sort of jumble where Magikarp should have been Dragonite. Um, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> today's episode. Thank you. I mean, I was hoping for you guys to like, hop on and have some discourse. No, but, I just uh, had nothing to add. Yeah, you yeah, took yeah, the yeah. words right out of my mouth. Yeah, of course. Today's episode is brought to you by Manscaped. We have a public service announcement. Uh, attention all my bearded beasts and stuff. They change this every time. Uh, Lock in, the, though. You got this. The leaders in Below the Waist Grooming changed the game with their Beard Hedger Pro Kit. And now they're one step further. I closed out the fuck. With their brand new handyman. An electric face shaver for quick and convenient ways to have a clean shaven look. No one likes a weird beard. Wasn't that a line in an MGK disc to Eminem? Eminem? Yeah. How'd it go? He, your beard is weird. Okay. Bar. Eminem had a... <laughs> 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 Fuck yeah. He's white Shakespeare. Uh, say goodbye to all your stubble and <laughs> trouble with Manscaped Beard Hedger. The Beard Hedger is a high-tech piece of art in a travel side package with a long-lasting battery. Your face is your first imp impression. Uh, are you looking for something smoother? Look no further than Manscaped's new handyman face shaver. If you're like me... You know clean shaving is a hassle. The Handyman is a perfect compact tool, and I use it to trim up all the time. I trimmed up my beard with it yesterday before I packed it. My black ass loves it. So get 20% <laughs> off and free shipping with code ANUS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with code ANUS, A-N-U-S, 20% off manscaped.com. Hit the refresh button with Manscaped. Boys, thank you for hopping on. Hell yes. Um, we are fresh off of, I suppose, the Barstool Awards. Everybody's talked about it. The Donkeys. The Donkey. Or what, they, they weren't sponsored, so I guess they were uh, the... Well, no, they were sponsored last minute. Doesn't matter. Uh, Roan, you didn't win shit. Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I was so pissed. Actually, Pat Bev was legitimately pissed that he didn't win, like, Fattest Guy Award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, what, what, what award was he going to win? That's what I mean. Like, it was, there was nothing on the table for him to win, but I think that he went in thinking that he was going to actually be taking home Like, hardware. sweep some stuff? Yeah, but no. Were you even nominated? You've been here for a while. But I don't think that... What, if it's, it's an insult to be nominated... The awards are like who can not get fired or like who like whose stomach ripples the best when they sit down and shit like that. It's not like uh yeah. And well, my stomach it ripples pretty good, but <laughs> not no, you're the, no, you're in a whole there's guys in a whole other league. Yeah, I'm in a bottom tier of tummy rippling. It was uh it was a fun ass award show, but like I I I couldn't win something there. Empty-handed. Well, Anus was nominated for the merch award with a solid gray tee. Oh hell yeah. Uh solid gray crew neck. Crew neck yeah. yeah. Didn't win it. Didn't win it. He got robbed. Who won that? I don't even know what shirt. Mooge won. deserved it. Oh, it was a Mooge deserved it. Uh, oh, the Mooge jersey. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty funny. Fuck, that is yeah, good. I couldn't have gone up there and and it probably outsold you guys too. Were there seventeen bought of the Mooge? Yeah. So it so outsold us by uh, double digits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. But, How do uh, people not buy the blank? The blank, uh, dude. Like that's something you could wear every single day. Yeah. Is it was it the price point? Was it, it was sixty dollars? I think because <laughs> Haynes was running a six pack at the same. It, it, price. Oh yeah, yeah. for way I'd less. And I, I'd imagine ours still like smelled like shit. <laughs> like yeah. it still smells like vinegar. Yeah. Just our buy, solid gray tea falls apart. You could buy a hundred in bulk for like eighty bucks. Um, Riggs cried when he won an award. 
Imagine the tears that came from those eyeballs. <laughs> Dude, if the, if the tear rolled off his face and for some reason landed on a turtle, Donatello. Oh, just, in- instantly. <laughs> just like, it would hit the ground sizzling. <laughs> yeah, those tears have no aim assist. Uh, dude, whatsoever. I don't I don't know what the, the yeah, that would just it would burn to like the core of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the way. It is just uh maybe that's how we got his shit straight though. He just fucking burned whatever was getting those bad boys cross-eyed. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy for I'm happy for your guy. I'm happy he for looks great. You two must have celebrated your dicks off. So I walked up to him after the award show. I was like, hey man, weird requests. Can you press your forehead against mine? And he was like, yeah man, for sure. I just <laughs> that was like that was the first time I think we ever touched, dude. Uh non-hands. <laughs> Our first N N H T a non-hand touch. <laughs> that was a uh, he 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 like didn't know where to look. And so he well, looked different. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He but he like looked up at he like looked down his nose at you and you just like <laughs> shut your eyes and got yeah, lost in dude. the moment. Yeah. Um it was just it just made for the the vid- visual that much funnier. Shout out to the fucking goat rigs. Yeah, he's the man and well deserved award, but uh in 20 years let's let's hope to get nominated for one. I just can't cry like that around my boys. Whenever I'm in private, I can cry like at the drop of a hat. I'll cry twice a day in private. You guys cry more on airplanes? I thought that was just a taste bud thing. Uh, tomato juice tastes different, I but I don't more. cry on airplanes. Really? I do. I do. Any movie. Yeah. For real. I don't watch movies on airplanes. Uh, That's probably why. I'm too self-conscious about somebody in the row behind you me like do. watching. You don't sleep either. No, I, I kind of dwell. <laughs> Ruminate. That's pr- I'm so good at that. That's one of my niches in the dozen. Dwell. <laughs> dwell. <laughs> but Jeff still rigged it. And- <laughs> So do you just like sulk and salt her out the window or what are you doing? I don't sulk. Um, it's I stare at the flight attendant to make sure they're not nervous. And it probably, probably gets them sure creeped that out because they're just seeing this dude that hasn't slept. <laughs> that's kind of blacked out drunk. Just like grasping on to like, you know, just like they know I'm not homeless because I'm on a plane. But like I'm acting kind of homeless. <laughs> uh just lingering like you're the guy who was at the gate when she left at the end of her shift yesterday and then you're still there as she comes back. yeah yeah so I, I for, i'll forever be ingrained in their mind is that weirdo and comfort plus mm-hmm. speaking um, of i ran into a homeless inside of an airport in tennessee that's a great place to be homeless right yeah, yeah. i was real curious how long he had been there they I used was... to they used to like go to town in airports yeah. I, read, I read a children's book about a homeless boy and his father who were they lived in an airport and they were trying to normalize it yeah i guess they were getting all like the dumped out liquids and like from tsa Mm -hmm. they probably had a bunch of knives (laughs) there was a barter system i don't uh, yeah i'm sure how did he get in there you think though i I need to get to the bottom of it or maybe he was like a youtuber doing like i spent 72 hours in the airport (laughs) challenge or some shit like that yeah i don't know those dudes crank that challenge. I don't know if you've ever watched that. They are, they suck terribly. They're not good at it, or they suck. No, like, as people? it's just not fun to watch. It's just it's no. Just like it's... there's nothing that happens in the airport for that long. Unless you're Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Or Clooney. Clooney spent a lot of time up. Oh, in Oh yeah, the Terminal. Yeah. Or was that was that his shit movie. What was the Terminal? Is that Tom Hanks? The Terminal was. That was, was Tom. Robin Wyatt. No. No, he just was Terminal. <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> uh, the, uh, that was Tom Hanks. Yes, okay. up, up in the air was Clooney, where yeah. he was like a consultant that flew everywhere and he fired everyone. people. But then he fucked um, Anna Kendrick. He, Did he fuck Anna Kendrick in that? No, no, she he doesn't young. fuck her. She's he in doesn't movie, fuck though. her. Yeah, she's she's super cool, cool in that movie. She's from Maine. He fucks the girl from the one of. The, he fucks the girl who has like a, a Boston accent in one of like the town or some shit oh, like Blake that. Lively? Yeah, she's Matt Damon's girl in the town. Yeah, I don't. The- I don't know who Jessica Chastain is. I got to get that off my chest. Oh, see Molly's game first. I've never seen. Foremost. I don't know who Jessica Chastain. I've been pretending my this whole time, <laughs> my whole tenure. You're in for a treat. That I, she's gonna who, open you up to redheads quite a bit. For real. Yeah, she's elite milk. For real. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. She is elite milk. She really is. <laughs> She Bro. is. What the I couldn't have said it better. Yeah, she a hundred percent is. Dude, she's such high end milk. It's- yeah, I, I had no idea who this was. I- <clears throat> she, but there's someone else that's like her. I don't see the milk. Are you sure she's elite milk? Yeah, she is elite milk. A hundred percent. 
you melt her down. I feel right. like Sarah Snook from Succession's almost going for a chest stain. Like yes, she would arc. Uh, voluptuous, yeah. uh, uh, curvaceous. Is she, is she tier one milk though? <laughs> she, I think she's tier one milk. I think she's elite milk. But name, I could be name a bigger milker. Daddario. Yep, those are fucking she's, soy milk. They're delicious. But they're not. That's not soy milk. You would. She's organic. Organic. What's that mean? Just all natural. The Chastains look real. I feel like Chastain she's new is. wave, like French cinema. Oh, okay. So she's <laughs> yeah, she's the lactate. The, yeah, not straight from the. There's udder. an artful sag to Dodario. Who was the one that was in uh, the war movie where everybody's getting fucking tortured and shit like that? She also is a redhead. Who is uh, like she's like kind of? You're like, talking about Zero Dark Thirty. That's Zero Dark Thirty. Chastain. Is that Chastain? That's Chastain. Well, no. Yeah. What, what about Bryce Dallas Howard? Is it's the redhead with the ass, right? Oh, man. Bryce Dallas Howard is also pretty talented. Jurassic Park. Do they ugly up Chastain in Dark Thirty? <laughs> they had to. Have yeah, she gets she gets uh, she gets weathered by her job. The torturing makes her less hot. <laughs> She's so tired of torturing people all day. A long, hard day of torturing yeah. the fuck out of people. She just won't fuck her husband. At the <laughs> her base. husband wants to then she stepped on. She's like, I don't and bring work hot with me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, I, I keep work at work. I keep I'm not going to stomp your balls. What was he gonna let I you never got it? that fetish. <laughs> the slightest graze on my balls will debilitate me. Yeah, I, I don't know. No, don't... you were really slow to respond. <laughs> fuck. I... <laughs> I need the mischief boots through my fucking nutsack. <laughs> Dude, the mischief boots would... Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Did that you see, on the have balls? Have you seen the video of the guy getting... Uh, the simp getting kicked in the nuts with the big red boots? No. Yes. It's fucking elite. It's so dude, good. have you seen the croc ones mischief has now? No. Yeah, dude. Stomped on those would have you look like the Play-Doh hair spaghetti set. <laughs> yeah, it would. Um, as someone who likes tattoos, can you see the hot wax a little? Hot wax on the body? Yeah. I've seen that um, in movies. No, dude, because I don't... <laughs> tattoos don't feel good either. But oh, candle wax like, doesn't hurt, though. That's, I, I would think it would be It like doesn't? A, a split-second pain when it hits your skin. I don't think it does. I, I'm pretty no? sure the candle wax doesn't... I think oh, it's so just like doing Elmer's it? on you. I would rather... F like, if I'm in a situation... I <laughs> I would just rather feel pussy. Yeah, missionary pussy. <laughs> dude, like, dude, the, like, a missionary pussy hugging yeah. hugging your dick, <laughs> like a warm embrace, just coming home after a long day type of thing. You don't, yeah, you, you don't have like to hurt after. me. <laughs> yeah, just let's kiss. K i s s. <laughs> Why do people like that? What is it psychologically that's driving someone to want their balls in like a clamp uh, or a fucking I apparatus? Think, I think we're plagued with boredom, and. Uh, I think just as if you get bored with that, women need to stop being so easy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> is it yeah. that people really just are tired of regular sex and that's why? Or is it guys who just skip missionary and just know that they want? Yeah, that? I, don't, I don't know. But are they incels? Are they no, having I mean, sex that, or are they just getting kicked in the balls? I would argue it's. The both ends of the bell curve. It's like the horseshoe people, theory. Yeah, the people who get the least pussy end up being the most kinky, and the people who get the most because you get so much that you're like, enough of this missionary pussy. Guys like us, we never fill up on missionary pussy. No, no. dude, no. It's like Chinese food. Buffet. Yeah, you're but just, DiCaprio does. He's headphones in, box mod vape. He's, he's a box mod to vape. The corner of the wall. Yeah, dude, you have to be the smartest of hackers to operate one of those. <laughs> Every crew needs a hacker that can hit the box mod vape. Dude, just like they have to have like that tool that like changes the levels of the sit shit. Like, uh, yeah, the it's like a Fibonacci sequence in the Da Vinci Code. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's you put your ear up to it like you're cracking into a safe just to get it right. <laughs> yeah. It's like the opening scene of Dark Knight. Like you figure it out and I pop you in the head and take it. <laughs> it's all I need to do for. <laughs> I'm yeah. supposed to shoot. The guy. <laughs> oh Fuck. my god! Um, you got me trapped on uh, Eminem's beer, dude. I, I, I don't for whatever reason I can't get his. I MGK get had a point. His, well, he has a he has a beer transplant. He's got a fake guy. Shut up! He about he, he derma rolled, but there's no way he got a beer to transplant. A hundred percent. He doesn't. When you get to that point of fame, you don't need to do that. Yeah, yeah you. That's when you need yeah. to do it. No, dude. He's he was probably on my trajectory to just be like, 
face and then bald right on the chin right here. And he just had too much money and was too self-conscious and just never did anything about it. I might, I, until MGK said your beard was weird, I would have fucking did it. I would have got a fucking. <laughs> you would have got a transplant, a beard transplant. You would have flown to Turkey. <laughs> yeah, got a young Asian boy's scalp removed and fucking slapped across my chin, dude. Yeah, you just have a real. You have an Asian boy's head of hair, like but jet, just, 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 just super straight. It's patchy all around here, and just a young fucking uh, Chinese boy, a young Cantonese boy. Oh yeah, is Cantonese just a language, or is it a yeah, it's, um, a type of people? I think it's just a vibe. <laughs> yeah. it's just like that's kind of Cantonese that's kind of Cantonese that's almost making the Pro Football Hall of Fame <laughs> oh no that's Samoan <laughs> oh yeah is Samoa's number one export uh, offensive lineman I think it yeah, actually is probably it has to be because what else are they chefing up over there good fighters wrestlers, wrestlers Girl Scout yeah. cookies yeah. yeah Girl Scout cookies Facts. Um, yeah I think that's it Man, we gotta. We let's go to let's go to Hawaii. Let's repopulate Hawaii. Let's get out there and stimulate. The I feel like just every guys. every <laughs> route leads you to Hawaii. Like neighborhood eats, you were just like, we'll do these ones. We'll go do neighborhood eats in Hawaii. Yeah. Rediscovering was the same way, and we just can't get to that fucking finish line. We would have got there. It's we the would have been on Lahaina as it burst into flames. What was it called? Lahaina. <laughs> I'm not, you're not catching me dead on Lahaina. <laughs> <laughs> dude, everyone died on Lahaina. That's where everybody Damn. got. Lahaina fucking... sounds like a runner up on American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> In second place. <laughs> Lahaina. No. Um, she definitely like could cover like a Jennifer Hudson song really good. I bust the windows out your car. My the my apartment, the condo owner in New York is trying to like get me to go back right now to oh, like, like walk through the apartment with him, but I'm just not gonna do it. Oh, for security? I guess. Yeah. Did you put holes in your walls for uh, like anything small? Got him spackled by a task rabbit. Ooh. Did you? Mm -hmm. What else did the task rabbit do? Didn't, uh didn't he just unhook your TV? Oh yeah, I hired him to Take my TV off my wall, unmount my TV, and it was $155 an hour. Why? And so there's so much cheaper guys. Guess how long they were there for? One minute. Less. <laughs> I guess there's no bolts that go on to a TV unmounting. So they just lifted it off and put it on the ground. <laughs> and you and you could <laughs> why it, they, did you it, was, try? it was 13 seconds. I thought there was like some sort of intricate uh uh, you know, maybe I need a special tool. Yeah. They just it was not attached to anything. Was it a Russian guy? Yes. Always. Always. All of the Russian immigrants are like mounting and unmounting televisions. <laughs> yes. They are. It's like the main thing. That's why Ukraine is winning, dude. The fuck? There's all the, all the men, the able-bodied men of age are in America taking down televisions. Yeah, dude. They need the, some like Russian Rosie the Riveters that are <laughs> yeah. just mounting televisions here. Stand up and fight. <laughs> I had a Russian guy uh, come mount a TV and he uh, didn't speak a word of English. It probably took like 10 seconds, same type of vibe, charged me for two hours and said he left a tool that he needed to put the wires in the wall. And so I'd have to hire him again. And of course, I'm hiring him again. Yep. This guy's going to get four hours out of me for fucking 35 seconds worth you of work. You know what I've started noticing? Hookers charge you the full hour, no matter when you <laughs> No come. matter what. <laughs> yeah. So... Uh, you probably came a lot then. <laughs> That's true. If you don't come a lot, they won't. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. They don't prorate? No. That's such bullshit. Um, but Sass's be. car does no limit. No? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's crushing it. He's crushing it. He said that he would come in today. Dude, how often do you think that he's going to come in now that the act is done? Sass? Mm -hmm. Bro, Sass has been dead for 10 years. <laughs> He's going to be a myth in these halls. He 100% is. I, I could see him being in for less than an hour some weeks. A whole week? An entire week. Less than one hour. 55 minutes of son of a boy, dad. Out of this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. I think like you and Francis are good influences on him. He doesn't text Owen back. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't? Yeah. No, I'm fucking with you. Um, Bastard. There's like a... We have uh, some anus fans design merch for us, and uh, we look through it. Uh, that will be coming out. We just, you know, with everything happening, we didn't get the merch put out. But there's one submission that has frazzled my brain 
and I can't figure it out. I think it's like a puzzle. I don't know. But this guy submitted the Chargers on unofficial mascot Boltman with Mook on his jersey and Big Ben <laughs> behind him. And I think he's Hitler saluting. What does this mean? <laughs> and I've been trying to stare at it. It's like Big Big Ben. I don't know. Is what it is this, it is it like a lion's head cap where if you put them all together it it, it makes a sentence? I'm or is hoping it, it's like that or like I don't I cannot decipher this. Gone Bolt that Ben Mook Mo- Michael Bolton Mook Ooh. Ben Mook no Bolt Big Ben um mm. what the f- and nobody hey. ans- nobody responded to it and I I don't want to like. With nobody responding to it, like, what does this mean? It makes me feel like I'm missing it. We've never talked about any of these things. I have no idea. I think you got to put it on the fucking T-shirt and just watch <laughs> the money pile up. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and then just like maybe on the back, it just says like, I get it. Do you <laughs> <laughs> Ask me about my T-shirt. Uh, yeah. Explain my T-shirt to me. It's uh, Or just like the back says, don't ask. <laughs> I gotta know, but it's it's perplexed the fuck out of me. That's awesome. It's it's such a shame that the awards just happened, but for the fortieth anniversary, I feel like that's got to be in the at least in the running. Yeah, off rip. What was the competition? Everybody got to submit a shirt, or are you going to put out? Multiple we just have a of channel on our Discord where they we pitch merch to Pilar, and she chooses the best. And sometimes there is no best, but we still put stuff out. Damn, um, you are going to miss Pilar. Yeah, yeah. She'll, she'll fly out. She has to. She has to. She's part of the Who's show. Who's the Chicago merch person? Shit. Fasoli? Is it Fasoli? Yeah. God, that's about to be dog shit merch. <laughs> he doesn't wear shirts. Dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's that weird. would be good merch, actually, like bags for dog poop. That is good. That is good. Yeah. Um, merch actually asked us. We've I don't, I don't know if we've ever talked about this. They were like, hey, would you... You and Kyle will be interested in having a promo code that's 10% more on the Barstool store. <laughs> and I was like, that's really funny, but I would feel so bad if anybody ever used it. Why? Because first of all, we're not seeing that money. So and second of all, like if the shirt has more than one color, it's going to be pretty pricey anyway. Yeah. But that's just the dedication that, that these guys can show. I don't, I don't want to take people's money on a bit. You're not taking it. You just. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll get that sorted out. I know everybody's clamoring to pay a little bit more. Okay. I know you don't like the 10% idea, 10% more. What about 15% more? I think it would have to be like a crazy amount, like four times as much. 400%, 400% on percent. sale? Yeah. <laughs> I think people would buy into it. I What's think... the opposite of a sale? I think it's a sale. <laughs> yeah. I think the sale is an opposite of a sale. Purchase is oh, or, markup. No, markup. Markup. Yeah, markup. Oh yeah, like reselling sneakers. Yep. Perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's still sale. It's still a sale. Yeah. Um I want you guys to do something for me. Yeah. Well oh. yeah, because I guess we're using sale instead of discount, right? Right. The sure. Exactly. It's like way. a sale. No, yeah, you so think sale, sale is a percent sale. off. Can you guys take me to a memory that uh is completely inc- inconsequential? Like a memory of yours that doesn't yeah. have, have any type of point. Yep. Something that, that you did or I've talked went about through this that, once before. That just doesn't have any bearing on your life and probably isn't even a good story. Yep. It was a wedding. It was uh my cousin Frankie Jr., redhead, bald now. He was in the CIA. Uh he had one of those beaded door hangy things on the way into his uh wedding reception. What the hell? And I think I was like, "Where is he getting married in a fucking college dorm?" Probably. I don't know. It was like a, it was a classy ass. It was probably classy beads. Classy beads. And I was eight or nine, and I just loved the sensation of the beads going up and down my body. And I was walking in and out of the reception, and I looked at the beads, and I said to myself, "I'm going to remember this." <laughs> Damn. Here I am proving that, my point. That was hell completely yeah. inconsequential. Mm-hmm. Damn. What about you? I, uh, one time I was biking and there was a bee next to me Mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm going to fucking dust this bee. (laughs) I'm about to go so fucking fast and leave this bee in my dust. And I biked as fast as I could. And the bee just kept up. Bees can fly quick. It was just right next to me the entire time and kept in my orbit. And, uh, 
I like biked as uh, like like as fast as I could down the block, and I saw an old man, and I I saw him coming, and he was very old, and I knew I was gonna go around him, and then I got to him, and I just didn't go around him. I just I just hit him with the bike. That's super consequential. Not for me. I oh no, you're fine. Yeah, I was yeah. fine, but he might have died, dude. Could have died. And I just tried to dust this bee, and then I just knocked over this old man. And for whatever reason, I I, I just remember that I was like probably seven years old. Oh, you were seven. And I just knocked over. I just knocked over this old guy. He was so upset at me. I would I would argue most of my memories are inconsequential. What's an inconsequential I memory? From like consequential to inconsequential, I was thinking of when you guys were talking. I went to a turkey bowl with my dad and his friends. Yeah. But I wasn't playing and it was too cold. So I went in the car in the parking lot. And I must have been like 10, 8 or 10. And I witnessed a car robbery. Whoa. And I had the wherewithal to write the plates. But the whole situation just made me feel so weird that I just, I threw out my note. And I just didn't <laughs> tell anybody. Yeah. Just keep it down. Just keep it to yourself. Uh, my dad was going into work once and it was a red light. Turns green, the car in front of him, didn't go, didn't go. My dad's honking, honking. Yeah. Gets out of the car, dude died. Holy shit. Yeah, dude, just a widow maker at the red light. Holy shit. Yeah. What the was hell? He just like poking him? No, and he was just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. Did you, I mean, I, I feel like if you're the detective, your dad has to at least be a suspect in that. Yeah, the honk could have scared him. Oh. If your daddy killed him? Death the daddy honk? would never. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nice. nice. <laughs> he just screams nice. in the courtroom. No! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, today's episode also brought to you by. I thought Mook just sent us the guy getting his balls stomped, so I have to scroll to get to the oh, different ad. Bear Bottom. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I love bearing, wearing Bear Bottom. They uh, newly expanded their lineup of everyday apparel for guys. Brings their signature comfort and fit to the next level. They have tons of new styles to explore. I say it all the time, but the brown and blue flannel that I wear all all fall, all winter is bare bottom. It's my most complimented piece. Mm -hmm. um, you enjoy every be everyday benefits of the features like moisture wicking, antimicrobial, UPF sun protecting tech. Uh, for, each, for each item you purchase, bars. I can't read today, man. I'm a bare bottom freak, though. I'll just be honest with you. For real? I am obsessed with bare bottom. Yeah, it's fantastic. They're everyday wear in the summertime, joggers, the long sleeve t-shirts. They like do the right thing to my titties. Dude, I was wearing it and like this group of girls were just said homina homina to me. What? And I said, excuse me. And they're like, you homina homina. They objectified you? Yeah. Mm. They honked your bulge? Yeah. <laughs> Get over here. <laughs> 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 Yeah, 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 they did. Uh, get free shipping with your first purchase at barebottomclothing.com slash story, B-E-A-R-B-O-T-T-O-M, clothing.com slash S-T-O-R-Y. Uh, Have you ever seen the video of the woman who is like a 1970s British woman, and she's on these steps at this very public square, and she goes around like, goosing men like grabbing their asses no. they're like I beg your pardon <laughs> <laughs> and she's like I want to see how you would like it and and just I, I guess it was like a epidemic at the time of women just getting their asses honked by men and she tried to flip the honking on its head yeah. and uh, the men were none too pleased the OG Danny Jackal <laughs> yeah dude <laughs> yeah, she really was <laughs> Mammy Jackal do you want to see my goose <laughs> yeah. damn I couldn't um, believe it. Something not that chill happened with Nick and I. I forget who else was there. We killed the guy who wrote the cha-cha slide, remember? Can oh, yeah. Story? As soon as we talked about... Wait a minute. Yeah, we were out with Maresh. Oh, yeah. We agreed to get cha-cha slide tattoos. We were tattoos. all going to get one lyric of the cha-cha slide tattooed on us. One hop this time. That would have been yeah. one... Crisscross. I was going to get Charlie knees. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> like, and we made, we like, like, a made a pack to do it. That weekend. And then the next morning he was dead. What's his name? I forget. Is it DJ Casper? Which is ironic. <laughs> Go to work. Is it? No, ironic would be if he was DJ alive. <laughs> DJ that was Casper a self fulfilling. More, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> prophecy. DJ um, never died. How did he know? But I'm still in on the tattoo if you are. Yeah. I think now it just has to. Yeah. I actually realized I was talking to Nate today. Um, he was asking me if I have any like Spotify playlists made. I was like, yeah, I do. And he was like, you know, we we're talking about how they're public. 
and I didn't know. And I have like three public playlists on my Spotify and I made it in 2007. It's just songs to fuck to 2017 <laughs> and it's all cha cha slide. And then the last one's just Cupid shuffle. So I guess that's the finale, but I had, I had no idea it was public. I don't know why I did this. That's so funny. <laughs> How many plays does it have? None, dude. 10,000 monthly listeners. Also, it's you an never hour got to break 40. it in. I never got to break it in. <laughs> Because you're coming by the third cha-cha yeah, slide. Yeah, dude. Never getting to that. I don't know why. Yeah. I'm not making it to the left. <laughs> All right, everybody. This is the, what is it? Casper slide part two. I've never heard part one. Is it? I've, I've only heard the remix to the Casper slide. It's like the movie Troll 2. There's no Troll 1. Really? No. That's an unprequeled true. sequel? No. And they're not even supposed to be trolls. They're goblins. That's just that could be a whole other episode. On that's that's when I'll do a solo episode. Yeah, put that on the Patreon. Maybe Nick's Behind epic rant. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I get off track when I'm talking about Dragonite and Gyarados, <laughs> but I'll, I'll 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 land the plane. Oh, people, and there's an audience for that. Nah. <laughs> oh no. Uh, Mook and I move tomorrow, and Mook, mm. what are you going to miss the most? I really don't love New York, to be honest. I'll miss the people. I'll Even miss, the intern? I'll, I'll miss the intern. Peyton? Mook has been getting bullied by this intern. Oh, I know. She can't stop talking about is it, it. Is it like a middle school flirt or a true bully? No, I think she's... Um, I think she genuinely doesn't like me. That's just, way funnier, yeah. Yeah. She like is a locker bundler. She's not <laughs> She's not like a Helga Pataki. Like, I don't think there's a chewed gum okay. uh, statue of Mook in her closet. There's no will they want there. No, no. It's, they a, it's won't. a won't they. <laughs> they won't. And it's, you know how your mommy always tells you that someone's bullying you because they're jealous of you? Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, they're just jealous. It's not that. It's no, not this, that. Younger, not that. this younger <laughs> woman is just jealous of oh. Mook. She's, on, she's working on a much more successful podcast. Probably gets paid more than me. Definitely. definitely. It's a it's certain. It's a certain. More, than you and I. Um, more upward mobility. For, for some sure. reason, she sees you. You know, you're a full-time employee. Yep. You think she'd be trying to earn favor. She was the one that laughed at you. Yep. Told me to hit the gym. Told you to hit the gym. Yep. Um, she saw you that one time. She did look at me. <laughs> and that was, that was enough to make her fucking lose You were asking shit. for it. Um, but as of late, I guess some security footage was unearthed. Oh, yeah. After oh. Rough and Rowdy, we were having a watch party of Rough and Rowdy at the office. Yeah. And uh, do I have it on my phone? You do. Okay. Share it with me. Sure. Um, and we'll have this playing. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube mm, channel. Yeah. So here's the... Have you seen this, Owen? I have not. So you'll see Peyton... I feel like I'm back in eighth grade. Yeah. Yeah. I will play it if you could narrate it, Ron. Tell me what you see. Okay, okay so we see uh, over here, it looks like there's a uh, Peyton... Uh, with a group of women, and then there's Mook uh, distinctly behind. Oh, oh my God. What the fuck? <laughs> she grips him up, hand around throat, slams him to the ground in a fucking full-on wrestling move. What the fuck yeah. was that? Jesus, what the, the fuck? Did you see the... Uh, that was out of nowhere. What did you do? I didn't do any. I was just chilling. <laughs> I was just standing there. That looked like an alligator grabbing a toddler. That was insane. We did just watch Rough and Rowdy. Oh, okay. She could abuse you. That wasn't even a wrestling move. Or that wasn't a boxing move. It was a wrestling move. Yeah, it was she originally to the, I thought to it the was a tackle, but she... No, it was like hand grasped around the throat. She was like a Native American. She sucked out your last breath. <laughs> <laughs> so you could live on in her soul. And then while I was down on the ground, she like came and like no. stood over me and was like... <laughs> I'll finish you right now. I was like, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. How did that happen? Is she in the office still? Can we get her in here? Yeah. Do, this again? Hold, do you want to confront her, Mook? I'll let her explain her side of the story because I d still don't fully understand why she did what she did. She dummied you. She dummied you. And it yeah. was not like playful or flirtatious. This was wrath. It was like aggression. And spite. Some yeah. people bullied to kind of like get the engine going to try and like run with the big dogs. This was not that either. No, She's no. going out of her way to torture you out of malice and anger. This is like get it going into prison as fresh meat. And you're just like, bring me the smallest guy. 
<laughs> I'll fucking kick out. I'll kick his ass. Bring me the biggest twink. <laughs> <laughs> what did it hurt? Uh, I when I went down, there was like kind of like a second tackle, and I like did hit my head on the floor. <laughs> Oh man! So like I did feel <laughs> the it. The floor is so hard here. It's hard as shit. I said I clanked my head last week. He's like, "What did you slam it against?" I'm like, "The floor." No. Um. What? So yeah, I, I want to hear her side. Like, what, what could her ha- side what be? What led her to do that? We were like just chilling all night, you know. Well, she was talking to someone else. She was talking to uh, a long skirted woman. Yeah, the long skirted was she a Mennonite? That's, was she with a Mennonite it's, woman? It's, it's I think Mally? it was a rem- Mennonite on Rumspringer. Yes. Yeah, so she invited a rem- uh, a, mem- a Mennonite, and she, it was her last day of Rumspringer. <laughs> And she was she like, what's one thing bank. you really want to do? <laughs> I want to fuck that guy up. Am I under attack by the Amish? That camera's not going to be much, much use those two minutes. Peyton, Peyton. I just couldn't believe her strength. Yeah, Jeez, unbelievable it was like she was strength. Hit. But I think it was... She used her leverage to lift Peyton, him off welcome. the ground. We just uh, watched some security footage of Rough and Rowdy, <laughs> the office security footage. Here, bring that closer. Pretty neat. There was some just footage that was unearthed yeah. uh, post Rough and Rowdy. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking about. Here, bring about. that a little, a wee yeah. bit closer. I I bring it closer. Just you're angle fine. it up, maybe. Just you work on a your, podcast. Go around its neck and bring <laughs> it to you're, the ground. Yeah, I would, I would help you. I don't want to get strangled right no. now. What, what? I get it. First of <laughs> perfect, all, perfect. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I get it fully. Yeah. Get what? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna explain the situation. What do you mean? Explain the whatever that was. I we. What do you mean? Whatever it's plain as day. What that was. <laughs> I'm gonna did keep looping it over. Grace Assault. told me to do it. Who did? Grace. Grace. That was O'Malley. You were talking. Yes. About. Oh. Grace said, because the whole night I was wearing, I was repping the merch that I tell this bitch merch. Sure, thank yep. you. So it was just kind of like a bit that I was just fucking with Mook all day. But he really, like, 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 you should just go. You didn't hold him. back. I know. I honestly didn't really even touch him that hard. <laughs> 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 like, I know it's on video, but I genuinely don't think it was like that bad. <laughs> the video Let me look at it again. Let me watch it again. Let me watch it like again. It's like WWE. What are you talking about? Oh my god. Oh. It looked like it Arnold like Schwarzenegger maniac. snapping someone's neck. I'd never seen <laughs> You lifted him like off that. the ground. This was like the priest breaking the host at the altar. <laughs> <laughs> Not a single bit of <laughs> <sighs> Now that I know what I'm looking for. What could, she can't what exactly did she tell you to do? Because you're having a very know. regular Honestly, conversation. We were just like let's do it. I but like she was like go push him or like go grasp him by the throat. I yeah, mean, what did she say? Like we were just I was just gonna go fuck with you, and then I guess I took it a little too far. No, no, I no, think that was no, I think level. I think you did the appropriate thing. I think Mook just went down a lot easier than you expected. Yeah, yeah. It, was no. e- it was easy. <laughs> yeah, that was like the Undertaker, though. You fully lifted his his legs, swung into the air. He got spun around so fast, but you have a strong, sturdy core. Like your legs, your base is. is I, you thick. have the best thick. You have the thickest, creamiest thighs in the office. Yes. That's what I mean. You should that should keep you standing. <laughs> but she attacked me at my weakest point. My neck. But That's she, your weakest point? <laughs> probably. You do have a really I have a soft neck. He has yeah, a, I don't know how it keeps that I, head up. I, Rowan loves my neck. I always like All touch his it. neck like super, <laughs> super Wait, lightly. Real? I mean, and he, he's yeah. so sensitive. Wait, He'll like jump out of his yeah, shit. Have you always like growing up been targeted by just like things, people? Yeah, because like <laughs> mine is things. loving. Mine is loving. No, but it's still you a target. hurt him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're like friends. People forget. Yeah, easy to forget. Yeah, yeah. When you're always beating the piss out of him. Yeah. You know we're friends, but I just can't help but beat the fucking piss out of him. Well, is not- it is it a two way relationship? Does he ever beat the yeah. piss out of you, or like no? Exactly. I think I'm gonna have to. Right? You're gonna have to stand up for myself. <laughs> yeah. My mom texted me today. She's like, "Are you getting bullied at work?" Really? She's like, "They they pick on you." I'm like, "Yeah, it's part of the game." Who who's they? Uh, you guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Mook. And Peyton. She's like, "What is that no, girl?" He has do? a lot of people. Like literally, everybody just found my Instagram and they're like, hashtag Free Mook. Like I just get spammed with shit and I kind of good. Yeah, yeah. You got right. You don't. It makes no sense. Mook has that demons. People, like, mm-hmm. Care, mm-hmm. But Mook has demons. I can <laughs> unleash them more. <laughs> it's it's shocking how more than like a lot of people that work here. Mook has mm-hmm. shooters. Yeah, yeah. People love him, and rightfully so. In Montreal, anywhere. 
I think you just gotta leave leave this boy alone. I know. Well, well, he's we're moving, leaving, so so I need to find someone yeah. else. I guess. Or you with. just now you just have to. They're gonna be few and far between, so they're gonna have to be nastier. Or you fly out to Chicago just to like <laughs> smack the fuck <laughs> out of him. You walk That's into the, the office and just spit life. on him. I'm like so happy walking through Old Town. I see Peyton just charging him. <laughs> In the corner of my eye. Should we give Peyton three like slaps? Like the fucking, like the chicken from Family Guy? Oh, yes. Yeah. She just appears. Three slaps. Yeah. What? What? Three slaps. I think you that's You get three fair. slaps until January 1st, 2025. You can okay. use them whenever you want. But not two on the same day. Yes. You have to space them out. Yes. And to also probably three trips to Chicago to deliver these slaps. Okay. Expensed by Barstool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that sounds fair. Fly to Chicago, slap the shit I have. You get right back on the plane, though. Okay. You just come right back home. Or you can Peter Pan one way. Three slaps. Huh? Three slaps till now, till 2020. Yeah, I'm just afraid you're going to escalate it somehow. <laughs> like, shoot me one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's the trajectory. No, that's not the, it's fear. the fear is not knowing when it's It coming. started yeah. as a public giggle, and now it's gone to physical <laughs> yeah, violence. What's yeah. next? hurt him that much. <laughs> right, I know. <laughs> so, like, would you <clears throat> would you say Mook's delicate? <sighs> I'm a frail yeah. boy. Yeah. You're not frail. I just no, genuinely don't. I, I was can't just saying how thick and creamy you were. Like, soft. You got Chastain thighs. Yeah, you're elite milk. You have the chat. Yeah, you have. I'm elite. <laughs> elite, milk. <laughs> elite milk. Hell yes. You, if yeah. Should we see how, what the slap would be like, just to know how hard, like, what a gauge of a slap is, or or does this is this not the time for that? <laughs> this wouldn't count as one of the slaps. It wouldn't. Obviously, no, it would no, be no, no. slap. <laughs> yeah, let's just do a weapons <laughs> test. Just like a pre. So just put all the rings on one. All hand rings on one hand. <laughs> okay, slaps are off the table. No, you want to be more. Stealthy about it, I get it. Yeah, sleuth, or like a slide tackle or uh, something. If you, and if you hit him too hard, he might just fucking turn to dust. <laughs> yeah, look like a fucking cloud of talcum. <sighs> okay, I Maybe couldn't believe. I can't believe that that was real. I can't believe that 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 footage was real. I thought that that oh, was yeah. like, like something kind of... that you guys planned. Or something no, or like no, that, that just happened. <laughs> Yeah, and I forgot that there's like security cameras. The fact that I so just wait, did you, it you did it myself, just for your own pleasure? For, no, like Grace wasn't recording. We were just like, yeah, we're just gonna get away with this. it. <laughs> now, Mook did did say when he hit the ground, you were above him with like a clenched fist. <laughs> yeah, she went. If you look at the video, she I'm on the ground. She walks away for a second, and then she stands over me like AI walking over Tyron Lou, and like cocks her <laughs> fist back. And but like, the ref will had already you. come in and like <laughs> ended the fight. Yeah. Also, nobody in the office like laughs or anything. They're just like, yeah. Oh yeah, you it do come back. Bad. Oh my god. Yeah, dude. Wait, you cock that shit back. I wasn't punching him. <laughs> Look at this. Look at her walking. Because he was towards, already dead. Look at her walking towards the corpse. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Ah, yeah. Oh my Behind god. Behind the pillar. It's, it's like she wanted pillar. to kill me. Wait, that wasn't just a buck. You came, the hand came forward. <laughs> she might have hit me. I forget. <laughs> you had a roll of pennies in your fist. <laughs> There's a bar of soap and a sock. What the fuck? <gasps> I feel like a maniac. <laughs> I think it's your behavior that's making you feel that way. Paul faking the body you just killed is funny, though. Yeah. yeah Have you I killed know. a guy and then you try to make him flinch? <laughs> <laughs> just see if they're fucking fake and stay down, bitch. <laughs> Give him the Izzy dead kid. That's what I thought. I felt bad immediately. I think yeah. I apologize. I thought it was. It was you like felt bad immediately. You went back to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't immediate. <laughs> Okay. It was kind of like I felt like I was back in like a middle school locker room. You know what I mean? <laughs> a girl's locker room? No. <laughs> <laughs> like a birthday party with your with your boys in like eighth grade and you're just like sending spears at each other, like spear tackles. You were choke slammed by a girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mook, what did you do once you got up? I think I was just in shock. Yeah. I didn't really process what happened. Um once you processed it, did you feel better? When I it? saw the security footage today, I was like, I almost don't want to talk about this at all. <laughs> I don't know if I want this video out <laughs> mm -hmm. to the public because <laughs> we, we got, got we can cut all this. I'm fl Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you got picked up like a pet turtle. <laughs> yeah, I got ragdolled. I got gang beasted in real life, dude. I, yeah, I'm trying to think of metaphors, and I'm just I've never seen anything like this. I'm metaphorless. Unbelievable. It was like an ant killing a praying man, did or a praying Asa man is Akira killing an ant. Nate? Simple as that. Did that happen? What? Did Asa Akira flip Nate? Yeah. Oh, uh, other, way around, other way around. Other way around. Yeah, yeah, he flipped her around to uh, uh, lick her pussy. I wish it was the other way around. <laughs> oh, God.
Dude, yeah. I would... <laughs> I always, I always thought it would be a funny bit. I think, have we talked about this? Like a dude that only standing 69s because he doesn't have furniture in his apartment. <laughs> That's me right That's now. That's Rudy dude. right now. Just be like, let's not even get past the foyer. Let's get, let's get down to this right now. <laughs> Peyton, I'm sorry. Sorry you're still here for this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like no, you're good. You're good. Yeah, thank you, Peyton. Thank you. Thank you, sorry, Peyton. Man. Okay. No, babe, I have a couch. <laughs> I just want to stand and lick you. <laughs> I swear to God, I have just a couch, gymnastics but I pads. have to have you now. Just trapped in a phone booth with her, getting sucked upside down. Put this helmet on. So what do you think the barrier is for like generational milk versus elite milk? Which is better? Generational? I'm asking you. Generational milk means it was passed down from your mother. <sighs> I, love I thought it was like milk. once a generation. I, think I like, like an underdog talent. story. Like who? Like a flat-chested mother gives birth to a well, a, well, they become a stacked adult. <laughs> gives birth to a stacked ass. <laughs> a stacked ass baby. No, you're Holy talking about a draft prospect. Like, imagine your kid, your buddy having like a stacked kid, and you can't say any. Just like, don't talk about it. But it's a baby. <laughs> It's like a baby with no hair on its head, but it's just, it's stacked as hell in all the right places. <laughs> we got to get a bra on this thing ASAP. Uh, listen, you're going to want to say something. Just don't. Please just don't. We Mike's, talk about Mike's it. coming don't over with his curvy ass kids. <laughs> Mike's yeah. oh my his God. hourglass baby. <laughs> Jesus mm. Christ. <laughs> like folds in the titty <laughs> like that, that you see on a fat baby's arms <laughs> oh my god oh my god um i'm sure the next sponsor will love us just rolling right into their ad <laughs> it's a stacked ass baby <laughs> is there a picture of one no i'm not googling stacked baby dude you also dude, like ask ai to make it no <laughs> make a buxom baby <laughs> I'm trying to see a Wendy Williams chest. On like a, yeah, I can't like Google big-titted, big-titted baby. <laughs> <laughs> that would be <laughs> on a list. Forrest. Forrest. All my bras are Forrest. Last show in New York City. We remember. That was a, that was. All the time oh. We are we sick? Vitamin C-ing right now? Uh, well, <laughs> and then you freestyle. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Your beard is weird. <laughs> Why did nobody think of that? It? He just shaves it like a normal beard. I, it's like so thick yet so short. But he used to never have it. It it looks like theatrical almost, like in a play or something. Yeah, like yeah. A, he's in Hamilton or something yeah. like that. Do you think he's cloned? Do you no. believe that? Shit? Did you say cloned? Cloned. <laughs> cloned. Yeah, I think like, he wears curve. <laughs> Yeah. There's Paco Rabanne. I mean, like cloned, like Hollywood cloned. You're saying cloned. You're saying cloned. 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 What are you doing right now? What are you? I'm we got to get Peyton cloned. back in here. Stat. I, we got a whole cloned, cloned <laughs> conundrum right now. Just call it body spray for the sake of this conversation. Axed. Is he axed or has he been axed? Ask? No, that's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> has he been cloned? Like replicated. I don't know if he smells. I don't know his smell. God damn. What? Has Hollywood cloned Eminem and created a new version of Eminem? No, he does it himself. The Jews choose what what you smell like, too. (laughs) Yeah, man. What? You know what I'm talking about, right? They control the weather for sure. (laughs) Yeah. Will he cologne? Fans. (laughs) That's the question every morning. Uh, oh, they gave him like a five, six year NFL career. So fans believe the rapper died and was cloned. Oh, cloned. Oh, like replicated. Yes. Duplicated. Yes. Duplicated. Like Avril Lavigne. Yes. Do mm-hmm. you believe that shit? No. Why would they fetter? Why would they clone Fetterman. Eminem to take control of him and work the machine? He's not doing enough, though. He like let mildly like. Mr. President, we finally have control of Eminem. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> they just hit D12. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like he just... Did you see that he just told uh, that guy running for president to stop singing his songs? 
Yeah. yeah he, Vivek. Vivek. He DMCA'd uh, Vivek. Yeah, he told That's Ramaswamy, no more, lose yourself. Which is a <laughs> fucking blow to that guy's campaign trail. <laughs> you see that uh, Kanye West was getting sucked off in he's Venice? Get, yes, he's dude. He was getting necked on the canal. Venice, more dude, like he was going bare Venice. cheeks on wood. <laughs> I know, oh, yeah. and his ass looks sloppy, dude. His his ass cheeks are real far apart. <laughs> yeah, he's got a <laughs> Grand Canyon. Yeah, it it's make- crazy to see a man's ass cheeks sort of eclipsed by a, the tail end of a blazer on yeah, wood. Yeah, yeah, I've never seen an ass in that setting. I probably Not wasn't once. like. Can you enjoy the head there, or is it just to say you did it? Yeah, he probably wasn't even horny. He probably didn't bust. No he, chance. He probably just did it. He was. He was wearing a scarf, too, which I thought was funny. He was like, I'm, I'm not wearing pants, but I'm just going to add the clothes on the top end. Yeah, but getting head in a scarf is funny, too. <laughs> it's just like it's like tossing it over your shoulder. It's like getting sucked at Hogwarts. The last dude to do that had to be Jeff Goldblum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He definitely got yes. No, Kravitz. Lenny Kravitz got sucked <laughs> oh, in a scarf yeah, a lot. For sure. His was a was harang, though. Yeah. His was a fucking red carpet around his neck. Did you see the video? Oh, did you see the video of it? Uh, there's a video of Kanye getting sucked. There's a video of the boat coming into dock and he gets up and kind of like you can see him pull his pants up. But the funniest part is the captain of the ship is on the phone. And I was just picturing him like telling his boy what is occurring. In this, Italian. Like, this Italian boat captain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is an Italian boat captain. Like, you're not going to fucking believe this. Mm-hmm. She's talking on the dick of the Kanye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Kanye West. Uh, he's kidding uh, the, the top. The top uh, no. Enzo, you won't believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> yeah. oh, you the can guy. see his ass cheeks on my wood. Uh, oh my God. He's ruining the wood, Enzo. <laughs> You'll never believe it. I hope someone's filming. Uh, There's a cocoa butter on my wood. Uh, <laughs> He over butters his ass. It's just slip sliding all over Venice. <laughs> gross. That's just gross. <laughs> over butters his ass. <laughs> you think he's cocoa buttering down his ass? Oh, yeah. Gotta be, right? Really? Yeah, I'm sure. Does the ass get dry? <coughs> I think it's gotta be one of the driest places. The ass? Because you're always bending. Not yeah. for me. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Moist but, ass, boy. Wait, the video is crazy because they're like docking. They're like close to yeah, like boat in the shore. dock. And she's still dock. sucking him? And, and she, he's just getting topped. Wait, can you send it? Yeah. And there's an assistant can woman. We 4K upscale that as well. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, Jarvis gradient. enhanced. But there's a woman, there's like an assistant woman that's also on the boat that's either her assistant or his assistant, some other vaguely Italian looking broad that must have just been in this tiny boat watching Kanye get necked. <laughs> um,. I'm not looking at the picture. Is it the girl that looks exactly like Kim? Yeah, she's a model. Yeah. Uh, she might, yeah. The short yeah. hair broad who yeah. flirted yeah. in the mall. Okay. Bianca Sensori. Sensori, yeah. She like. What does she do? She's hot. There was one that was like legit. A clone, a cologne of Kim. Cologne, yeah. <laughs> I think that's yeah, Kanye's she, new she wife. She's pretty. Yeah, this wife that's is Kanye's new wife. Is the cologne. Yeah, getting, I'm having your pants that. down, that's but with the jacket that has that split in the back is hilarious. Yeah, <laughs> that's like the the onesie under uh, the onesie pajamas with like the poop flap. Very yeah. similar. His ass looks so sloppy, and his crack looks high enough that it's pe- like he must have plumber's crack. Like his butt crack goes high enough that it should be peeking over his belt if he was fully trousered up. Remember that all time crack on the yak? Oh no, yeah, no, no. the plumbers. Oh my god, <laughs> we had to take, had to take that, that video down, yeah. right? Probably because yeah, Ron got in trouble for revenge him. porn. <laughs> yeah, it was his plumber. <laughs> Your cable guy I, I sued you for revenge porn. It was my biggest tweet ever. It was like at thirty thousand likes in one hour, and uh, to take it down, dude. Oh. I was about to go to <laughs> Did the he next reach strat- out? No, but the guy who sent it to me, it, he got it from a friend, and they they saw yeah. like it all happening at once. It would have been your cinnamon toast shrimp. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They would have found out some bad stuff about me mm-hmm. if that had happened. Did that crack went all the way up between like his like, it's like his clavicle? The, <laughs> yeah. It went. It went to like it lower. Was, it was between it was his crazy. blades. Yeah. It was right between the shoulder blades. It was preposterous. It was. It was he was. A, he was like though. a hot dog bun. <laughs> He was of a man. <laughs> he was fully split. He had a split personality. <laughs> Just a nasty ass. Why do we have butt cheeks? Uh, Comfort? So, uh, no, so you you're you, so you can shit and poop, right? Like the butthole does that. 
But that's why the split happened. Is it comfort? Or is it part of leg? Is it part of your leg? Yeah, I think the ass is just I part of I think it's just leg. to cover up and protect the asshole. To protect the asshole? Against From what? From what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why else? Why else is it hidden in darkness? Like you could, you don't need a butt cheek. Yeah, we should be evolved past butt cheeks. We should just have. But we're going the other way. Like we value butt cheeks so much as an, as a society that butt cheeks are getting bred more, so the dominant gene of the butt cheek will like prosper. Yeah, I feel like I don't know. I, I don't have many bones back there. I feel like it's a lot of just like your hip. Yeah, yeah it's there's it's less kind of empty. Sp- I think we're circling back though. I think we, the ass got too big, too fast. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like the brontosaurus. Then there's nothing to eat. (laughs) Die out. Yeah. And I mean, in the eighties they were trying to do it, but before mix a lot came along, he's like the Jane Goodall of the ass. Mm -hmm. He was saving the ass, but like before then flat butts were the thing and they were basically getting rid of the ass cheek to get us to a pure butthole society. You think we'll return to like a Yoko Ono ass? Have you seen <laughs> I that? Think, I think, yeah. That pic- that, you know that picture's fake, bro? That broke, oh, that what? broke my fucking heart. Is, is it not his body? That's no, those so are, they, they manipulated the butt, butt cracks. So they made hers shorter and his longer. Wow. Do they just have regular asses? That's a shame. Oh, like the uh, Pink Floyd poster that everybody had in their fucking dorm room with the girls with the painted backs. Those were like nice asses back in the day. And now they're just... Yeah, nice handful, man. Uh, yeah, it's a little bubble butt. Bubble butt. <laughs> Speaking of babies. <laughs> that baby has a... <laughs> uh, I was comfortable back there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I need a binky. Those extra big diapers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. A size 42 waist diaper. <laughs> <laughs> the baby's ass 12 inches long oh 42 God. inches at the ass <laughs> so Alright so I don't know. Let's end the episode <laughs> uh, Anus in New York was cool Yeah it was awesome Owen was there since day one uh, so Oh but you guys were cool It was, it was dog well. shit uh, Remember like that first episode we had like co-workers come in and sing Oh my God. You and Owen, you and uh, Kyle convinced me that you were like, this is going to be a funny segment where we, we were just going to have like a choir come in and they sang um, Pompeii by Bastille. Ba-dum, ba-dum, and I was just sitting there like, I was like, we can't I was put left this yeah. to my home. Um, it was not funny at all. Yeah. Yeah. We had to cut that. But it's funny now. It's funny now to talk about. It's one of about. those things that's funny when you come back to it. Dude, yeah. We had like Owen do like a coin toss segment. There was a lot of Jeff D too. Yeah. Jeff Shout D was like Jeff the original D producer of the show. Episodes. I'm super excited to watch it. the Chicago studio. Yeah. yeah, I'm excited to see where that goes. And I mean, I'm be, we'll be back here a lot. Um, just give us one last stories. fuck no, baby. For, mm-hmm. for, from, from that movie. was Kyle. I know, but just give us one. I can't do that. That's not my thing. That's fair. Uh, we have one more ad. What? Game time. Oh, wow. well, they know. Luckily, it's easy. They know Rome it's game time. time. Roan, can you start that game time ad for I me? I mean, game time is the premier ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. And that's... It's, it's for a very simple reason. They have the best app. They have the best prices. You can find last minute tickets to all kinds of games, concerts, whatever you want to do. It's the easiest to interface. If you compare it to other apps, there's no late hidden fees or any bullshit like that. And you will get a comparable, if not better price than any other app. If you want to go to a Phillies game, Eagles game, Morgan Wallen concert or some, some shit like that, mm-hmm. you go to the game time app, you download tickets, buy them immediately. It's so fast. It's so easy, and you probably can get some kind of discount if you uh, if you rock with uh, the the anus boys. Yeah. Uh, let's see. You can use promo code Untold U N T O L D dot com. Twenty bucks Rones, off. You're going to be going to. Uh, you used it a while ago. You went to a Kenny Chesney concert. Yes. With Riley Cooper. Yep. And um, <laughs> so download the Game Time app. Michael Go. Richards was opening. It was incredible. <laughs> you were front row belt now. <laughs> I knew every word. <laughs> no, you just knew one. Uh, that's all he needed. It was incredible. Download the Game Time app. Go to the website. Enter your email redeem code untold. $20 off your first purchase. Oh, man. What a run it's been in New York City. Um, Truly. We'll see how it goes in Chicago. What, yeah, where are you guys going to be recording from in Chicago? They got their own studio. No, but I won't be ready for like a month. So. Yeah, but I've seen those pictures. It will be sweet. We'll see. At least. We'll see uh, if the budget allows. And you're I'm moving sure. tomorrow? Yeah. God damn. Yeah, it's crazy. That's a fucking... I got emotional leaving the apartment today. Really? Yeah. 
Do you have like a good view or something? Or no, just- <laughs> heavens no. I don't have windows. Is there something you're um, going to miss about it? or? Dude, I miss my beige water. I think uh, uh, the struggle made me who I am today, and it's, it shortened my life for sure. You got it out the mud. Made you funny as hell. No, I don't think so. I think um, so. No, I was funnier before that apartment, uh, <laughs> for sure. So I think it was just uh, – it was another chapter. Hmm. Well, uh, you got another chapter coming, brother. Can't wait. I'm going to be following along. It'll be Thanks, a, good, man. a good excuse to uh, to listen all the time. Not not going to see you as much, so I'm going to need my little fix. Fixing my boys. No, I, I appreciate you guys. It's been fun in New York. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we'll be back. We're going to keep doing a project together. Yeah. Facts. All um, the time. Cool. God bless. Oh, oh, and say it. Oh, God bless. <laughs>